Okay, uh, I want to talk about Arthur and his essay on religion and morality. Um, I'm actually going to keep this relatively brief. Um, his thesis, I sh uh, you should really notice his thesis here, because the, his thesis is not like, it just doesn't seem that controversial or, you know, earth shattering at all. All he is trying to argue in this paper is that religion is not required for morality. In other words, or morality does not be, depend on religion. Um, he's not, he, I mean, look, he's not arguing there is, there's no connection between them at all. He's definitely, argue, he, you know, he acknowledges that there is, a, there is some overlap between religion and morality and religion informs morality. And there's, there's, you know, it's just a matter of dependence. That is, he's saying you don't have to have religion to have morality. He's not arguing, I, you know, he's not argue, arguing against no one, by the way, because there are people and there are places and times all, you know, lots of them um, that do kind of make this claim that if you're an atheist, you must be a, you know, you must be burned to the stake. <laughs> really, like, uh, you can't be a moral person if you're an atheist. Um, but, you know, that's kind of not our context because it's, you know, I'm sure that most of you would agree that you can be a good moral person and not believe in religion. Um, and that's all he's trying to say. Uh, there is, there are links between religion and morality, but religion is not essential to being moral. All right. I hope that's clear enough. We, it, religion is not required. That's the that's the thesis. That's the main idea. Um, the one thing I wanted to point out in this is, I think most of it's straight, fairly straightforward, anyways. Um, the, but there's one thing that people always get confused on, and I want to point that one out, and that is when he's talking about Plato and divine command theory. Um, let me see, where is this? It's, it's here. I'll move it up to the top there. In the Euthyphro. <laughs> Where, okay. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't mean to giggle, but people, I, 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 this, I don't, I have a hard time um, with, with how people have such, a, it's just people get so flabbergasted about this. All right. Do the gods love what is holy because it is holy, or is it holy because the gods love it? And, the, and the, he's trying to make this claim to be the same kind of deal with morality, not just holiness. In other words, is what is good what God says is good, or is it good because God says it? Um, is, um, is what is moral uh, what God says, or does God say it's moral because it is moral? And I know people just glass their eyes at this, but this is where, you know, really, um, you know, reading comprehension, like really you have to kind of understand the language and what is being put forward here. Um, because it does make a huge difference in the way that you would interpret a religious uh, prescription in, in ethics. Um, do the gods love what is, let's say, ethical because it is ethical? Well, if you say that the God, let's, let's not say gods, God, God loves what is ethical and moral because it is ethical or moral. Well, that means God knows what is ethical and moral, and he's telling you to do it because it is. But it's not like a dictate. It's like, he know, he's smart, God's smart enough to know what is ethical and moral. And so God is telling you what to, to do that because it is moral. Or is it just moral because God says it? That would be holy because the gods love it. God, it's moral because God said it. 
which means that it's it it wasn't moral before until God said it it wasn't moral. Um and this and theologians argue this kind of stuff all the time. Um I think and most of them, most theologians and, and people that um, think about these issues tend to want to go with the first thing. That is, it's moral. God knows it's moral. That's why he's telling you to do it. If you go with the other direction and say it's moral because God said it's moral, it makes it sound like it's arbitrary, like God's just making this stuff up. Um, and you don't want to say that. You want to say God is telling you to do it because it's the right thing to do, not just because it's whatever he says is right. Hey, I'll leave it to you to think about, but they are not the same thing. They are, these are not the same uh, sentences. And it's easy to just, like I said, gloss over that. And if you don't pay careful attention to the wording of the sentences and understand the difference between them, you're going to lose the whole point, which is, and it's a pretty serious point right? I mean, maybe not, if you're not religious at all, maybe who cares, but if you are, certainly the, the, the distinction between those two makes a big difference, and you know, even if you're not religious, you want to talk to a religious person about these subjects, it makes a, it, it, it's worth uh, paying some attention to the difference and difference and distinction between those two ways of thinking about morality. Is it moral because God, just because God said it, or did God say it because it is moral, which implies that there is a moral, that God's, like if there's an objective fact or objective truth that God is aware of. Okay. All right. Again, um, by the way, that I should also note his thing about Dewey at the end is a little disappointing because that's a that's an interesting um, uh, approach. It's but it's really not spelled out very well at all. He just kind of uh, gives us a brief overview of it. Um, but anyway, Arthur's Arthur's a pretty interesting philosopher. So um, do the reading.